Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. The land speed record attempt by the UK team building the Bloodhound supersonic car has been postponed. But the car is under construction and should still come to South Africa's Hakski and Pan to try and break the current record of 1,227.9 kilometers per hour set in 1997. Here to give us the latest update about the record attempt is Engineering News Deputy Editor Irma Fenter. Irma, welcome to Second Thanks Take. Marianne. What is the new timeline for the record attempt? Well, that big, big attempt, the big number that they're going for, 1,600 kilometers an hour, will now be in 2016 and no longer 2015 as originally planned. Uh, program Director Richard Noble tells us that um, there's just a, a few hitches in the program that they did a timeline planning and that this huge, what is in fact a huge aerospace program will actually now only be able to, to gun for the 1,600 kilometer an hour mark in 2016. Uh, things are just taking a little bit longer than one would originally expect it. So we'll see in 2015 probably, um, we'll see the car do a few test runs at 350 k's an hour at a, a landing strip in the UK. And then if that the systems all work and it's all go, then it will come to Uppington to to do a few runs on Huxley and Pan, maybe already breaking the record, the existing record, but then leaving the big last attempt for 2016. How is the Bloodhound construction progressing? It seems to be doing well. The first metal for the components were cut in 2011 already, and it's being uh, put together in Bristol in the UK. So uh, constructions continue, and there are actually 160 companies supplying parts to the Bloodhound supersonic car. So there's a lot of uh, planning involved in getting the car ready. And it's not just actually saying a car, it's a bit wrong. It's a jet and rocket powered um, car or vehicle. It's 14 meters long. It weighs seven tons. Um, it has 135,000 horsepower. So you're actually really talking, like Noble said, about a huge aerospace program. Um, and then, of course, it has to have wheels and it has to have a driver to make sure that you do actually uh, achieve a land speed record attempt. So things are going well and it seems like it should be on track now with the new planning to, to happen in 2016. As I understand, there have already been a number of wheel tests in South Africa. The, the car can only go if there are wheels, and to, to build a wheel or to, to, to design a wheel that actually can travel at 1,600 kilometers an hour, you can imagine, it's not an easy feat. So they've been two tests here already in the Northern Cape. The first one was kind of a sharp V-shaped uh, V-shaped v wheel, but that was a problem because it actually broke through the um, surface of the pan, and then I think that will bock down the car. So what they then, they came back a few months later and they have uh, got a more rounded V-shaped, uh, uh, kind of a more rounded V-shaped v wheel and hopefully that perf uh, will perform better because they've selected that wheel now. It seems not to break through the um, top surface of, of the pan and that, that will be the one used in October in 2015, probably when they come here to do the first initial runs. That's Chief Engineer Mark Chapman is very positive that this may be the right wheel, but of course we'll only see when, when testing started. Money is always important. What is the cost of a project like this? At the moment it's around 515 million rand, but that figure has crept up since the start of this whole project. I mean, they've been talking about doing this for years. So we'll probably see that number going up again, but I know the team is also um, scouting South African companies to find a few sponsors. They've already had loads of overseas sponsors. Um, MTN is a local sponsor here for them already, but hopefully maybe they'll find more to bring that number down. Irma, thank you very much. That is the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.